Hey, welcome back to Phaser Tech. So today I've got something special to show. This is the first prototype of my latest invention, an LED pickguard that dynamically responds to the sound coming out of the guitar's pickups. Now again, this is just the first prototype, so there's definitely some things that need to be worked on. For example, you might notice some noise while the LEDs are activated. But anyway, here, let me play some more. You might notice a little bit of noise when I ring out the chords, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Now if you've seen some of my earlier videos, you probably noticed I had a cube on the side that would light up in a similar way. This was sort of a precursor to the pickguard. Soon after building the cube, I came up with the idea of transferring that same circuit to a transparent pickguard, and also tweak the algorithm that controls the LED a bit. Everything was custom designed myself, including the circuit as well as the code that runs on the microcontroller. I also modified the CAD design of a Stratocaster pickguard and 3D printed it with transparent filament. The guitar itself is just a run of the mill Strat clone that I got for pretty cheap, but was perfect as a testbed for this idea. So this is how it basically works. The circuit continuously measures the dominant frequencies coming out of the guitar and determines what color to light the LEDs. Frequencies that are considered in the bass range, for example, under 250 Hz, will make the LEDs light up red. Meanwhile, mid-bass frequencies that are between, let's say, 250 and 500 Hz, will make the LEDs light up yellow, and so on throughout the color spectrum, all the way up to the highest frequencies producing a purple or white color. It's a similar concept to the old analog color organ, but those are more basic since each LED is only a single color that are separated from each other. My idea takes advantage of digital signal processing which results in more advanced effects and flexibility in how the LEDs can react. The LEDs can display any color in the spectrum, and I can easily program new effects to change how they react. Now the guitar is an extremely dynamic instrument when it comes to frequency response. The frequencies it produces are extremely varied and contains a lot of harmonics. That means that when you pluck a string or a chord, it's actually producing a wide variety of frequencies, not just one. Now if I were to adapt this system and put a microphone on it instead so it could pick up other instruments, then you would see very different responses. Some instruments would give a very stable color and only change when it's playing different notes. That's why I thought it would be useful to include a control knob that controls the sensitivity of the effect. So if I turn the knob all the way up, it'll give the flashiest effect. <laughs> And then if I turn it down, it gives a more stable effect. But like I said, the guitar is very dynamic, so I'm still adjusting the sensitivity. I think the lowest setting could be even less sensitive, but hopefully you can still see the difference. In order to make room for the control knob and the circuit itself, I had to remove one of the tone controls from the Strat. Normally these guitars come with two tone knobs, one to control the middle pickup and one to control the neck pickup. I removed one of them and rewired the leftover tone knob to be a master tone, so it controls the tone for all the pickups. I've also included a four-way switch that not only turns the unit on and off, but also provides different modes of operation. For example, this mode gives a static color and it'll remain on whether I'm playing or not. The control knob changes the color. The other mode is basically a mix of the previous two. 
It remains a static color, but only when I'm playing. You also notice there's an opening here above the switch. That's for the micro USB port for charging the built-in battery. Since this prototype only has three LEDs, the battery life is surprisingly long. I haven't measured the exact battery life yet, but I estimate it to be at least six hours. So now let's talk about some of the issues with this prototype and what I'm planning to change in the next version. The first is the LED layout. So right now there's only three LEDs, um, and they only light up a relatively small area of the pickguard. Ideally, I'd want the whole pickguard to light up a solid color. The other issue, which is probably kind of worse, is the noise that gets produced. So, some colors are worse than others. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, yeah, depending on the color, the noise changes. But to be honest, this isn't such a big deal when I'm playing, since you, the playing is much more louder than the noise. <laughs> But you still can sort of hear it, especially when ringing out chords. So this is definitely an issue that I need to work on on the next version. I'm also planning to add more modes that change how the LEDs react. The goal is to give a variety of effects that can cater to different styles of music. Another cool feature that I plan to add is a tuner. Since this is already measuring the frequencies that are coming out of the guitar, it wouldn't be difficult to add tuner functionality. Just like a regular tuner, I could program the LEDs to indicate whether a note is too sharp, too flat, or in tune. But I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you like the idea? Would you like one of these pickguards installed on your guitar? Also, what improvements would you like to see when I do the next revision? Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts. Finalizing the design and making the improvements I mentioned would take an enormous amount of work, so I don't necessarily want to pour all my time into it unless there's enough interest in it. So again, I'd really appreciate some feedback and your thoughts on this. If there's enough interest, then this is definitely something I'll return to in the future. And who knows, maybe I'll release the code and the schematics as well. I'm not sure yet, but I think this is something that might actually be a great perk to offer once I get around to making a Patreon later this year. So if you're interested in building your own LED pickguard, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Also be sure to like the video to help boost the algorithm. Well that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.